So guys, it is almost impossible to see me right now. It is actually 5.30 in the morning. Okay, this is gonna be the best lighting I can find to film this intro. But what is up guys? It is Ryan and Skating out here with another video today. We are going back to Philly, which is why I'm up at 5.30 in the morning again. And uh, I'm actually gonna have to walk to the station this time because I'm actually going with nobody. And uh, it's gonna be a little sketchy going on the train alone, but uh, I should be fine, so. Yeah, we are gonna meet up with people down there, but uh, I'm not going with anybody actually because Jonathan can't go and I don't know about anybody else. I asked other friends, but they couldn't go as well. So yeah, I'll, I'll tune you guys in once we get to the next thing. So alrighty guys, luckily I don't have to worry about catching the train anymore because my friend is driving me. So that is a good thing. I think we're gonna actually gonna go to Whitehall, then Center City, and then hit up Payne's and everything. This is gonna be a fun day. I'm definitely gonna be trying to be getting clips for my part. And uh, yeah. But we're going to be meeting up with Conrad and whoever else later. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a, an extremely fun day. And I'm glad I don't have to pay an extra 7 bucks for a train ticket alone. Alrighty, guys. I'm at the first park of the day. I'm at Whitehall right here. Super sick park. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to get some clips here. So, uh, yeah, let's get the first session of the day. Alrighty guys, I'm at Pop Skate Park. I just got two clips. It's a really weird park. I think this might be worse than Ben Salm. I'll have to show you guys around. This obstacle makes, it just doesn't make sense to be honest. This would be fun, but it's just a little steep. That hub is really fun. This right here is pretty fun. They should put coping on that. Other than that, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this park. It has fun parts, but uh, it's a weird, weird park. Alrighty guys, I'm at, how do you say the name of this park? Poplar. I, Poplar. Ninth of Poplar. Poplar. And I just ollied over this ramp and thing. I'll just play the clip right now. But uh, yeah, this park is pretty fun. It's, I don't know, it's got some sketchy obstacles, but there's this good flow with this ramp. And if you put this one thing over it, it's a lot of fun. So yeah, oh, yeah. DIY too. Alrighty guys, I'm at a street spot. I'm gonna get some clips, so uh, yeah. Alright guys, we're at the park. So sick, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's get some skating in.
Alrighty guys, we are at Payne's now. And I must say, this is the second real time I've been to this park. And uh, I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of, a lot of not skateboarding going on, but that's okay. But uh, I'm just gonna skate the park for a bit and then I'm probably gonna go soon. Alrighty guys, I'm leaving Payne's right now. That one obstacle that I was just skating, that's probably my favorite obstacle at the entire park. I love that obstacle. Other than that, um, I'm just not really digging this park too much. Maybe if I come back more, I'll like it more, but uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, I just skated New Plaza. My lips are super red because I had a code red. Is that a YouTube channel? Yeah. Do y'all want to say hi to YouTube? Aruba. I thought you said it was Aruba. Uh, mine is just Charlie. But like it's spelled out really long. It, it's hard to explain, but eh. you got anything to say to YouTube? Sup? <laughs> Shout out your Instagram. Uh, Drew Sharon underscore. Drew Sharon, yeah. So yo guys, I just had an extremely productive session at Muni. Conrad landed a huge trick flip. I'll show you guys all the clips we got and I'm gonna play an edit. So uh yeah. <laughs> Wow guys, I don't know if I could have possibly asked for a better day. In the beginning of the day I got to uh, I got to skate a bunch of skate parks with Nick. He drove me all around there. And then uh, I got to street skate a lot here, got a lot of clips from my part, got two big lines for it. And uh, yeah, we're almost done guys. I wanted to go back to that one spot that we went to last weekend where I tried to 50-50 front shove out. I could not land it then because we got kicked out and I only had like maybe a couple tries in there. It, all the tries there you guys saw were basically all the tries that I had. But anyways guys, let's get into the main point of the video, which I will be filming at Love Park. Alrighty guys, we got the big buildings in the background at an old iconic Philadelphia skate spot. And I so wish that this spot, I could at least skate it just once. Cause it was basically like Muni, Nick was saying, but just had perfect ground. But anyways, I'm going to get in the $40 Vans Pros. So as you guys know, I've been skating slip-ons basically for over a year now, and I really like them. But the thing is, they don't last that long, and the same thing applies with these $40 Vans. The thing about them is they are pros for 40 bucks, and I really like the way they look. So I was like, I went to the van store. I wasn't expecting them to last too terribly long. I was expecting them to do better than what they have done. But for the clips that they've gotten me and all the long days of skating that they've already had in them, you know, you can't expect too much more from a $40 pair of shoes. Especially comparing to the lugs that we had back in like May that were not good at all. And you see, this is what has happened to them. So not terribly good, not terribly bad. I have been skating a decent amount of switch and nollie over the past couple of days. But the switch shoe, I mean, there's not, there's barely anything. I have been skating it more. I've been trying to skate more switch and nollie to incorporate that into my part especially and I actually switch 180 the four stair the other day so that's the biggest stair set that I've done a switch trick on so hopefully I'll be able to get those bigger and bigger but my final consensus for these shoes is were they worth the money yes I mean I like the way they look they're giving me good clips and they're skating well which I think is the most important part we'll see with the duration how long they end up lasting but I am going to actually try and use shoe goo or like hot glue to kind of glue it together and see how that works so i'll probably let you guys know how that works in a different video i am going to be back here next saturday so every weekend hopefully i'm going to be able to get up here and uh yeah but it is amazing out here i love it you know every corner there's a street spot and you know i feel like for me to really excel and do what i really need to do as a skateboarder and get better and better and better i need to be here 
And that clearly shows because there's just so much more here than there is in Ben Salem or really anywhere in Bucks County. And as you can see, looks pretty damn cool too. But uh, yeah, one day, we'll be, we'll be, I'll be in every major city, yo. One day, one day. But anyways, guys, I'm going to move on for the video. I do still have 30 minutes before my train comes. Shout out to Vaughn because I must tell you guys a bit of a story. All right, so as you guys know, there's a, kind of a lot of homeless people in Philadelphia. Center City, it's not like a bad area. It's just there's kind of a lot of crackheads. But anyways, so there's this kind of crackhead guy. He comes up to me and he asks for some spare change. I give him like three, four bucks. He sees a 20 in my hand, all right? So he's like, oh, can I have that too? And I was like, I really didn't want to give it to him, but I was like, dude, like I gotta buy my train ticket home. Cause it's a 20, I had 23 bucks on me. And he's like, no, no, can I have that too? I was like, dude, like I need it. He's like, I want to see my kids. I was like, all right, dude, like how much do you need? And he's like 15. So I go in, I was like, how about I go into 7-Eleven and I just, you know, go in and exchange some money for it. So then the guy ends up taking the money. Like, I was like, I'll go in the 7-Eleven and you know, I'll go get them changed and everything. He's like, no, I'll go do it. He takes the money. He tells me that the 7-Eleven guy took the money because he stole from them yesterday. He did end up stealing from that store yesterday, but they didn't take the money. Therefore, I kind of got scammed. And I couldn't buy my train ticket home. All I needed was five bucks. I was literally gonna give the guy 15 bucks. So it was a very unfortunate situation. At the time, I was really pissed about it. Not even about the money part. It was partly that, but at the same time that I was helping that guy out, and he still decided to take advantage of me. But my friend's already getting on my case because I let some homeless guy rob me and all that. But anyways, guys, now that I've ex shared that story, I still have a little while until I have to catch a train. So I'm just going to enjoy the city right now. And uh, yeah. Alrighty, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment down below on the video if you enjoyed it. That was an extremely fun day. I didn't end up doing too much else after that. Uh, it was pretty scary because I almost missed the train. Other than that, super fun day. So, make sure you guys like, subscribe, leave a comment down below on the video if you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, peace out.